When I did my first ever disassembly of a vintage pocket watch, the first question I had was how to unwind the mainspring. It happened to be tightly wound up and needed to be let down. On the internet I could only find textual instructions on how to do this, but no demonstration video. So I decided to make one myself. The watch I'll use for this demonstration is a Lonville pocket watch. It is Swiss made for the American market. It is without a serial number, but its style suggests it's probably pre-World War II. If we look at the back, at the movement, we can clearly see the parts we are interested in for this video. To the right, at the top of the watch, is the crown, which is used for winding up the watch. If you wind up the crown, its movement is picked up by the so-called transmission wheel, or crown wheel. That wheel, in turn, transmits the movement to the so-called ratchet wheel, or winding wheel, which actually causes the mainspring in the so-called mainspring barrel, which is located underneath, to wind up. The winding wheel and mainspring are prevented from unwinding by the so-called click, or stopper. Now if you disassemble such a movement, you cannot leave the mainspring tightly wound up. It has to be let down first, otherwise the wheels and parts inside will jump in your face as soon as you open it up. So how is it done? Rotate the crown a few notches to release the stopper slightly and then push it back further using a small screwdriver while holding the crown tightly between your fingers. The winding wheel and mainspring are now free to unwind, only stopped by your fingers holding the crown. Now release your grip on the crown slightly and the mainspring will unwind. Be careful not to let it slip too fast, otherwise parts may be damaged. That's all, there's really nothing to it.